just cruising right through one of our spots that normally has standing water. What a weird spring. I'm back. It's been a while. It's been a weird spring. It's been a long spring. It's been a wet spring. But uh, we're out here working down some plowed and also some ripped corn ground from last year trying to plant some soybeans today. Got both diggers going this morning. Uh, knocked out like 70 acres pretty quick. You can see that muddy mess over there, huh? Like I say, we've been driving through a lot of our wet holes, but uh, this plowed ground here is really mellow. It crusted over on the top with some 90 degree weather. Uh, factored in with, we've got an inlet that's working backwards over here. Then you end up with uh, water coming out your inlet or your breather or whatever you want to call it, and it floods out an area. It's always been kind of an issue, but uh, very much exaggerated now. Yeah, the plains, everything else just perfect. Absolutely mellow. It's working up really nicely. We've been having some issues just getting fields to dry out on their own. We've had a couple, uh, we'll have to come back for that big guy. We've had a couple days right away. It went from like wet winter to 90 degrees. So I heard a theory what happens is that kind of crusts over the top of the ground a couple inches and it doesn't allow the ground underneath to dry out and that kind of makes sense to me it is what it is right if it was easy everybody would do it and unfortunately I didn't record a single bit of corn planting it was a pretty wild corn planting few days we've been getting rain every two every three days it's making it really difficult to get in the field uh, I still work full-time so that's been difficult because all of my days off, it's been too wet or raining, so we haven't been able to plant. And then the day, the one or two, three days that we've had of big days, I've been working. So I've either come out after work in the morning and gone for like three, four hours, or I'll be sleeping and I come out for three, four hours in the afternoon. Kind of just go, 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 didn't film, and uh, it's done. So we're on to soybeans. I am gonna try to get some footage now but it's gonna go quick because we got rain in the forecast. Surprise, look out this way. Nobody wants to stare at me that long, but uh, it's been busy. Also, my wife and I met our first daughter this spring. So that's been fun and exciting and an adjustment and just trying to find the new balance in life. So it's been busy. Could probably get a little closer to some of those wet spots back there, but uh, you cannot tell where it's really wet. And I found that out the hard way. Cause I got stuck and I didn't fight it so I just waited because the other digger was right across the road and he come and pulled me out no problem and then I turned around and then he got stuck so I'm staying back quite a ways that other case IH digger international digger on that tractor is just a little lighter and if he's getting stuck this thing is like throwing out a cruise ship anchor when you go through a wet hole so we might give that a day or two hopefully the tile will take it down and then maybe we can get some beans planted in there it's hard to see but no it's not to the left you can see the plowed ground and to the right is ripped ground obviously visibly more trash residue on the top but really it's not that bad it's really nice this mulch finisher is very forgiving it works things up chews things up very nicely um, but yeah it's hard to beat the plowed ground but at the same time it's really mellow so when it's wet it gives way but it's been nice. Normally this is uh, extremely wet down here. You know, half the time we end up farming around it, but going right through it. So it's just such a strange year that we can get stuck over the hill. That was all because of that tile line, but still, it's just, it's so weird how it's not really drying out underneath. One thing I was gonna mention is that the biggest thing I noticed between working ground over the ripped area versus the plowed stuff, um, that I have a lot easier of a time pulling it tractor wise on the rip ground you can see I'm here I'm at like zero or one percent slip uh, when you're over on the plowed ground just being that it's so mellow the tractor wants to sink the ground's looser so it's able to spin a little easier so you kind of got to feather it in some places but it still works up just as nice just something I noticed just wrapping this field up it is dry at least on the top few inches Drying fast today with the sun out, wind, only about 60 something degrees, but it's drying fast. Just finished refueling, <clears throat> about halfway 
crossed it, getting it greased while I was doing that. Uh, checked all the sweeps, throw a couple in. Won't quite make it to the next through the next fields without a couple more. But there's some life left in them, and uh, I'm gonna blow the air filters out here. Guys, we'll be getting close to the end on tillage, but uh, we keep treating it right, and it'll treat us right. As farming law would have it, it's almost like I knew it was gonna happen. We're in the middle of the main frame. We ran out. So, gonna climb out, and we'll be back. Well, it's evening now. You can tell the sun's just about down here. 8430 with the, what is it, a 455 drill, I think? 35 foot wide, 10 inch spacing, I'm sure someone's gonna ask. And we are in an 8440 with a uh, homemade 30 foot roller. Got a real nice chunk of ground worked down and then uh, hopped in the roller here after we filled up the seed drill again and uh, rolling in front of him just to keep that going because we're making a pretty good dent in that too. So whatever it takes to keep marching forward before the rain. I'm sure someone will ask, uh, one, why are we rolling? And two, uh, why am I rolling in front of the drill? I know some of you have heard me say this before, but I'll just briefly touch on it. Um, we like the way the drill performs and rides if it's rolled in front of it. It seems to have a, a better, better quality of planting, if you will. Um, we still get the benefits of breaking up the dirt clods, if there is any left, uh, pushing down some of those smaller rocks. Uh, you know, another benefit is just that seed to soil contact. We maybe miss out on a little bit of that, just because we're not rolling afterwards, you know, getting the dirt touching on all sides. But um, like I say, the drill does a much better job when we roll in front. So that's why we do it. That's what we're happy with. So that's why I'm sending it. And uh, I've got to send it just a little harder than he does because, uh, well, simple math. Like I say, this is a 30-foot land roller, and he's in a 35-foot drill. So you take that five feet, you multiply it, and that's how you get the level of send that we got to do in this rig. He'll finish off the big field here. We got two smaller ones in the uh, woods over there. Go get those done here.